Hi guys, welcome to Numbers. So 26 November today, so we have exactly two days left for preparations of CAT. I'm sure all of you must be pumped up and all prepared and all sorted and you know we're waiting for the paper, eagerly waiting for the paper. Uh, I just say I hope all of you get great results, all of you get whatever you wished for, and you have a great life ahead. All the very best from me and my entire team. All right. So I was just going through today in the evening with, uh, through this, through this paper that they've uploaded, cat.im.edu. Okay, they have given you the entire interface of the paper and the kind of questions and question palettes and stuff. Uh, I would like to focus on this in particular today in this video. I'm going to explain you the entire functionality of the calculator that CAT has given you, provided you. Now, first of all, it is not an entirely scientific calculator like the way engineers used to have in their engineering days. Uh, no, it's not 9 and 1 MS. You can't solve equations in this, etc., etc. A lot of functionalities are missing. However, it comes in a, it comes in with a lot of functions like sine, cost, and log, e raised to x, natural log, cube root, square roots, etc. So it comes in a little handy at the same time. Okay, let's just go through this Calci. Okay, what exactly it has to offer. So have a look at this. First of all, all of you who are not used to this kind of a calculator, uh, the non-engineers or whoever has never never used this Calci ever in the life, this kind of a Calci, they don't know sine, cos, and tan, and the kind of uh, things. You know how to exactly operate. Keep in mind these two things. Always switch the switch to degree. Don't keep it to radians. Okay, now I'll explain this to you why. Say for example. I want to calculate sine 45. Now, when I say sine 45, it is 45 degrees and not 45 radians. Okay, so I hope that is one thing. Okay, now I'll tell you what happens when you switch it to radians. So first, when you when you enter the exam, when you start this exam, just in case if you want to, if you just have this switched, or you just by mistake by mistake you switch it to radian, make it make sure it's degree. Now I'll explain this exactly. Now let's say 45. Now first. Of also notice one thing you can't say sine 45 you can't do that it's a functional calculator so you first enter the value you want to calculate a sine of 45 now to calculate the value of 45 sine 45 so first type 45 that's the little difference in this calci it is not the usual uh, calci that you have where you type the function first like an example type the sine first and then type 45 it will not give you any result it will give you 45 okay so first you have to type 45 and then go for sine then you get 0 0.707 which is nothing but 1 by root 2 so sine 45 is 1 by root 2 just in case you switch this to radians okay just in case and let's see if you want to calculate here now i have 45 now this 45 will be considered to be radians and if i calculate sine of this it is going to be 0.85 which is absolutely incorrect okay so make sure first of all it has to be in degrees if you're comfortable with the radians then use all radians radians for that matter in radians pi radians is basically 180 degrees so if you want to say 45 it's going to be pi by 4 which is going to be 45 degrees equivalent of yeah so now if you go about it if you can easily sort it up so you have a radians let's say so pi divided by 4 is going to be this much and sign of that is going to be 0 0.707 the same thing okay so avoid radians because not all degrees can be converted to radians that easily and it's a pain it's a, it's, a, it's a pain to convert actually practically every degree to radian all right so it's unnecessary extra step so first things first it's a functional calci okay now i'll tell you which keys are going to be most important now if you look at the first row the entire row is not that important except for the braces here not that important Similarly, the second row because it's hyperbolic, hyperbolic, hyperbolic exponents, hyperbolic, and we don't have questions on hyperbolic here. Now again, this key log to the base two x. Now what does that do? Log to the base two x will calculate the value of log to the base two of any number you want. For example, log to the base two eight. This is my favorite question. It seems I've discussed this almost three times. Log to the base two eight is three because two raised to three is eight. Yeah. So now if you want to calculate log to the base to 3, first you have to type 8 since it's the functional calci and then press log. So you get the answer is 3. All right. If you All right, let's look at the next key. The next key is ln. That's not important as such again because it's natural log. So it doesn't really matter as such. Next key is log. Now this is important again. You want to find log. This, this will give you log to the base 10 of any number. Okay. So I know log to the base 10 is 0 0.3010. So you can just rectify this. I mean, you just, we can just cross check. So 2, I'll first press 2 and then press log. So I'll get 0 0.3010. All right. Don't press log first. You'll get infinite and you get confused. All right. So that's one thing. Pi is basically the next key. Pi is basically 3.1415, whatever. So you, you can easily gauge that. E is going to be 2.71. As I mentioned, ln will give you a log to the base E. The value of E is 2.71. All right. Uh, nothing to do here as such. 7E. 
so it'll give you 2.7 doesn't doesn't really matter just it's just a value it's just a value no no function e pi and e are not functions they're just values n factorial would give you n fact so 7 fact is 5040 all right so fact 7 i cannot press got the point so always remember this is a functional calc so first you have to press that number and then press the function you want it to be on okay so 8 fact is 40320 right uh coming to the next key now very important key here all right coming to the next key the next key very important key very very important key is log of x to the base y now let's say i want to find out log of 3 sorry 27 to the base 3 i know the answer is 3 okay but let's say if i have something like log log of 60 to the base 4 i won't get the answer that easily will be in decimals okay so that's why the calc can come handy okay so now the the question is log of 27 to the base 3 now understand this very carefully 27 is your main number so you'll first type 27 because you want us x the value of x here is 27 then you'll press this key and then you'll press 3 and that will give you the answer is 3 all right so first press the number you want like for example let's say i want to find out log of 100 to the base 1000 right now 100 to the base 1000 is going to be straight away 2 by 3 okay so let's check this how this works in a calci okay so we have to find the log of 100 and then i press this key and the base is 1000 so i'll enter 1000 and i'll get the answer is 0.666 that is 2 by 3 all right so keep in mind first press x then press y okay first press press x for example i want to find log 90 now which base you want to decide the base before that press the log key and then base 5 let's say and that will give you the answer in base 5 all right so that's pretty clear i'm sure yeah e raised to x is again the same thing you have the ne the next key is e raised to x e raised to x here so you have 7 and e raised to 7 will give you the answer 1096.63 all right that's that's straightforward again 10 raised to x the same thing as e raised to x sin cos tan is again you just enter the value of the degree keep in mind degree 60 degrees let's say i want to find tan So I'll find tan 60 is 1.73. All right, this is degree. This is not radian. Degree. Keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, another thing. Again, x raised to y the same thing. First press x and then press this key. So you'll have four raised to see. You can see the top window. Four raised to eight. So I'll get some six five five three six as the answer. All right. Uh, same goes for x cube. Same goes for x square. You want to cube a number? Write the number. Press this key. It'll cube it. Okay. So if you notice, cube bracket seven. So it's a functional key. All right. So if I want to square eight, so eight and square, okay, okay, not square and eight. They won't do anything for you. All right. Uh, similarly, sine inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse. You want to find similarly sine inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse. Let's say you want to find something like this point seven zero seven, okay, and I say sine inverse. So it's going to give you forty four point nine nine, which is nothing but forty five degrees. All right. Similarly goes for cos inverse and tan inverse. Now again, focusing on again x and y thing, it is. Under root of the yth root of x, by the way, it is yth root of x. So let's say I want to find out fourth root of hundred. All right. So what I'll do is first insert x hundred, then press this, and you want to find fourth root of hundred, and that will give you the answer as three point one six whatever. Okay. If you directly say this and try to press hundred, nothing would happen as usual. Okay. So that's that's my point. So first of all, introduce the value of x in both these keys. Keep in mind this key and this key. First, introduce the value of this. Let's say I want to find 64. I want to find cube root of 64. Okay, just using this key, I I have the cube root key here, but I'll use this key, root of three, and then I'll get four. All right. I I hope that's pretty clear. So first, you'll introduce the value of x, whatever you want. Use this key and nth root of that, and that'll give you the answer. I hope that's clear, pretty clear. Okay. Uh, let's going going again. Cube root is same thing. Four and cube root of four is going to be 1.58. Modulus of x. It's the same thing. It'll give you the absolute value, nothing else. Okay. So I have 14 minus 22. I, I don't think you need to use this key as such. Minus 8 is going to be plus 8 because it's mod 8. All right. One uh, by x out here on the right. Percentage and square root is just the same as the usual calci that you have. Uh, and finally, coming to the most important key, mod. Let's say we have a question. Okay. Let's say we have a question which is like this. Something like let's say 47. I'm sure you can solve this very comfortably by using a lot of theorems. But still. I want to solve this in a different manner because I have a calci now. Divide by hundred. So I have these two are co primes. 
which means Euler's is applicable. So number of co primes to 100 less than 100 is 40. So I'll remove two 40s. I'm left with this much 47 cube by 100. Now there is a little extra step to do 47 into 47 into 47 divide by 100 and then try calculate something like that. Instead of this, what you can do is you can use a very beautiful function provided in the calci, which is mod. So I have 47. Okay, cube of it is this much, and I'll say mod 100 is going to be 23, and that's the answer 23. All right, so 47 cube mod 100 is 23. So, this will come in handy in such kind of questions where you have to ultimately find the remainder by shortening the question and then finding the remainder. So, I'll take one more example. So, for example, let's say let's say we have something like 17 raised to let's say something like 17 raised to. 43 or 44 let's say over 25 so i know 17 and 44 are co primes in fact i know that 17 and 25 will give me anyway 8 as a remainder with 25 minus 8 will pl turn plus 8 okay so 8 raised to 44 now 25 has 20 co primes i can remove 20 twice so i'm left with 8 raised to 4 by 25 so i now i don't have to do 8 into 8 into 8 into 8 i can just go to the mod function provided in the calci so i'll say it is 8 raised to 4 raised to function is by the way here okay and mod 25 and i get the remainder as 21 and that will be the answer in this case so the remainder here is 21 all right so i think all these keys are just like that i mean don't don't focus on ms mr mc because this is memory store and memory recall won't won't come in so handy because 789 let's say i want to save this number i can click on ms this save the number is called memory store okay and then i press this key and if i want to recall that number so i can press mr it will come again 789 and then again i can press this and if i want to remove 789 i can press memory clear so 789 will go away now it won't come again all right so i think that's it about the calculator and cat i hope you have a great time and enjoy yourself writing this exam all the best do well